Okay. All right. So if we could just start by you introducing yourself and saying how long you work with the Moscow Police Department. My name is Tyson Barrett. I'm a captain with Moscow Police Department. I'm currently assigned to the campus division as the commander. I'm the law enforcement liaison between the city of Moscow and the University of Idaho. I've been a police officer uh, for 22 years in the city of Moscow. Good. And uh, what, would you, what would your definition of property crime be? So property crimes, uh, the most serious property crimes would be considered burglary where someone breaks into a home or a vehicle. Uh, with the intent to commit a, a crime to, to steal items or to commit another felony. Um, along with that, you would have theft or grand theft. Uh, theft would be anything under $1,000, and grand theft would be anything over $1,000. Grand theft also uh, takes into consideration firearms, uh, financial transaction cards, like ATM cards, credit cards, and checks. Um, again, theft would be uh, under $1,000 and would include anything less than that. Next, you have uh, crimes against property like uh, you know, bicycle thefts, uh, injury by graffiti when someone spray paints property, uh, and then malicious injury to property when people break windows, uh, damage someone else's property in general. So, um, given those definitions, what would you say is the most common type of uh, property crime that occurs in Moscow? So, we do get a lot of thefts. Um, I would say theft, just general petty theft is our, our biggest property crime. Um, stolen bicycles, stolen electronic devices, or maybe phones, computers, uh, things like that. But bicycles are probably the major one that we have. Uh, people leave their bikes on the road, they get stolen quite rarely. Um, this time of year, at the end of the year, um, with book buyback, we see a rash from time to time of uh, theft of books. So people go back and sell them back and get cash. And then shoplifting is probably the other big one where people go into a, to a supermarket or an apartment store and steal. Would you say um, there's a more common time for property time for property crime to occur um, as far as like a season, or is it just pretty consistent? Throughout That's the a year? good question. It stays pretty consistent for the most part um, because you always have people out there that, that need money and are willing to do whatever they can to, to get it. Usually, that's by theft. But around the holidays, oftentimes, because they know that packages are going to be left on doors by you know, people who order from Amazon or order online, FedEx, UPS, or delivering packages when people aren't home. So we get a lot of thefts that way. And um, when, especially on a university campus where we have fraternities, sororities, and residence life, um, things can get stolen from those when, when all the people are away on vacation. That makes sense. Um. So you would definitely say in the city of Moscow there would be more property crime occurring on campus versus off, or I would it say it's pretty it's pretty spread out throughout the whole community. Really, um, a lot of the thefts that we have, especially the bicycle thefts, are when bikes aren't locked up. So that happens on and off campus. There's a lot of bicycles uh, in the community as well. And then the next probably most prevalent would be vehicle burglaries where. People are trying to unlock car doors and they rifle through a glove box or the center console looking for cash or change or other valuables. And then past that, as far as property crime again, you would have um, a vehicle burglary where they break the window because they can see something valuable. Typically, we don't have people breaking windows, rummaging through the car and not finding anything. Um, typically, when we have those windows that are broken, there is something that's visible and it's on, whether it be a gun, a computer, a camera, or something else. That makes sense. So would you have any advice for um, kids looking to lower their risk of falling victim to property crime? Uh, what are some like things that a student could do to not, you know, be Always lock place? your car doors. Always lock your residence. Whether you have, if you live in a, an apartment or a house that has uh, other renters in it, I would suggest getting a lock on your bedroom door. That way you can lock your valuables that way. Um, always lock your bicycle up. Always lock your car door. Keep your valuables out of sight. So if you have a computer or, or something valuable that you have to leave in your car, put it under a seat, put it in the trunk, put it somewhere where someone can't see it, and uh, that way they're not tempted to break your window and steal your things. And park in well-lighted areas if you can find them under a street light or uh, with bicycle lockups if they're under a street light. Try to find the, the best lit areas to park in cars and vehicles. Um, would you say, uh would you say property crime is any more prevalent here um, 
like marginally compared to anywhere else, or would you say that Moscow is has a pretty average rate of I would say right? probably average. Average I is put us above average. Um, it, it might be a little bit below the national average because I think it's a little bit more prevalent in bigger cities than it is in the smaller sense. communities. But I think again, some of the smaller communities, that are smaller than Moscow, even probably have a little bit less incident of that, those types of crimes. So it pretty average. Okay. Um, and if a student or a faculty member finds that they've fallen victim of property crime, somebody's stealing from them, what, um, what would be the course, best course of action for that? Best way is to call the police, 83 cops, cops. and uh, ask to file a police report. Um, the things that you need to be prepared for us to ask are a very detailed description of the, of the items that were stolen, when they were stolen, when they were last seen, uh, any serial numbers, and the value. So if you have some valuable items, it's very important to take pictures of them, record the serial numbers, uh, because all too often bicycles, cameras, computers, things like that get stolen in our community and they get pawned, but we can't recover them because we don't have the serial numbers. So we have to be able to prove it belongs to someone after it's pawned to force to get it back. Oops. All right, well, um, I think that's all the questions I have for you today. All right, and thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I